Hello and good morning everyone. My name is Susanna David. I am happy to come your way this morning to share the word of the Lord with us. There are some things that the Lord revealed to me and the one I want to share now is the revelation I had just two days ago. I had a dream. In the dream, uh, a lady was to be sacrificed alive. They were to bury her alive. And th there was a grave. It was a very, it's not like it's a grave, but a very deep pit because it was very, it was bigger than a grave in size. So as, as at the point, they, I already put the lady into the pit. At the point of trying to cover the pit and bury the lady alive, they discovered that the lady was not a virgin. So they were so disappointed and they were saying, ah, this lady is not a virgin, or we can't use her for the sacrifice, uh, we have to look for a virgin. I was there watching and I also saw a Christian brother, he was there uh, standing, it was like he was among those offering the sacrifice, trying to bury a human being alive. So I saw myself running from that environment because uh, I, I could just turn out to be the victim. So I was running away. I discovered that I had a little baby in my hand, a baby of about a few months old. Uh, I, I was running with another lady. So we were running as, at a point we were in the bush. I discovered that I was not with my cell phones, two phones. So I was telling the lady that, um, why not I go and get my phones? But I looked at the baby in my hand. The baby is a virgin as a, a, an infant. So I told myself, if I go there, they could probably get hold of the baby. So uh, even me, I could be in danger too. So why not I leave the phones? And I told myself, I said, well, God owns the money in the world. He owns every money in the world. And if... I saved the life of this baby. God could also provide money for me to buy other cell phones and I could go and retrieve my lines too. So at the point of, uh, uh, as soon as I made up my mind and tried to escape uh, from that, continue to escape, I woke up from the dream. And as I prayed, I heard the voice of the Lord spoke to me that uh, this is the end time. That the world we have come to live in today the days we live in are dangerous, that the wicked don't actually, they are not interested in consuming themselves. They are interested in wiping out from the surface of the earth the righteous. And the Lord told me that the time is now, that the righteous are being hunted, that the wicked wants to erase the righteous from the surface of the earth. We have to be wise. The brother I saw there, who is a Christian, a believer, I know him very, very well. The brother I saw there represents even the, how Christians, those who come to hide in the church, the sheep in, the wolf in sheep clothing, who come into the church to hide in the church, how they also participate in destroying the righteous. Uh, uh, it's, it's very rare to see the righteous not being persecuted in the church of today. Uh, we have to be ready that if you want to do good, the world will persecute you. The modern church that is falling will also persecute you. So when I talk to people and especially unbelievers and make them to come to church and repent, once they come, I tell them, listen, even in the church, you are going to face persecution. People's minds have been driven far away from God. The situation is getting worse every day. And it's, going, it's not going to get better anymore. Because this is the end time. It is the time of the delusion of the church. Only a few, the Bible says, will be saved. Brothers away that leads to destruction. But narrow, narrow, very, very narrow. And rough is a way that leads to life, and only few find it. 
only a few find this narrow way. Uh, let me just read this passage. Uh, John chapter 16, one, verses 1 and 2. These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. A time is coming and the time is now that those who speak the truth are being hunted. And the, it, 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 those in the world think that they want to get rid of people who come across their way so that they can be free. They don't want to hear the truth. And also those in the church, religious people, and even uh, those who have other religion like Islamic religion, killing Christians and persecuting other religions, they will think that they are offering service to God. Let not your heart be troubled. Know that the devil will hunt for you. Those in the world will hunt for you. The wolves in the church will hunt you also. So keep your life safe. I'm not saying that you should be afraid of death. You don't need to be afraid of death. Any moment you've received Jesus Christ into your life and you give yourself to God, uh, as, a, as a believer, you have to forget about your life because the Bible says that we should not be afraid of those who can kill the body but cannot kill the soul. But the person we have to be afraid of is the one who can kill our bodies and also has the power to cast our souls into hell. So don't be troubled. Be ready for anything that comes. Don't be discouraged. Don't join the crowd. If you are for God, live for God. And I want to encourage you that the Lord is coming very, very soon. Even if he doesn't come today or tomorrow, he could come for you, he could come for me at any moment. Visit my website, iguayopuna.com, and also my other website, biblicalsexualpurity.com. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channels, Iguayopuna, Iguayopuna TV, and also Ozana E.E. David. Thank you and God bless you. See you soon. Bye.